Have you seen this? This? Or maybe this? All of this is happening in Myanmar. Since 1st February, dozens of people have died as an aftermath of military coup in various cities of Myanmar. Who was in charge of the coup that has stirred the Golden Pagodas and sparked many protests around the world? It's Senior General Ming Aung Hyang, the leader of Tatmadaw, or Myanmar Armed Force. So who is he actually? Born in 1956, Ming Aung Hyang did not have a stellar beginning in his military career. Did you know that he only got accepted at Defense Service Academy after his third attempts? And in there, he's not a remarkable student either. It's all due to his reserve nature. Despite that, his career shines. He got his momentum in 2019 after taking charge of military operation near Kokan region near China. At the time, he did the expulsion of ethnic minorities and his troops allegedly did arson, rape, and killing. The operation launched the general career, helping him to become a commander-in-chief two years later. He has held the position ever since and even extended it past his retirement age. Interestingly, Myanmar began to embrace democracy when Ming Aung Hyang appointed as armed commander-in-chief. And in 2016, Aung San Suu Kyi appointed as state consular. Initially, the general and her managed to get along, despite coming from different political parties, Union Solidarity and Development Party, and National League for Democracy. In 2017, he led another military operation. This time, it against ethnic minorities Rohingya in Rakhine State. Many accused the general of genocide and United Nations Human Rights Council demanded an investigation. The general did not stop there. In 2020, he accused NLD for election fraud. This eventually led to a February coup which placed him as the current chairman of the state.